Hey, Grand Rising YouTubers, gods, goddesses, kings, queens. I'm about to bring you a message from the ancestors. I'm about to bring you a message from spirit. They want me to let you know you are too blessed to be stressed. If you feel like some negativity is coming your way, or you feel like someone is just trying to steal your joy, your love, your passion, your beauty, your comfort, whatever you're going through, anything positive, and someone's trying to steal it, you need to go deep within and say, I remove, I release everything that does not resonate with my higher good, not today. You need to learn to take back your power and your energy. Also, Spirit want me and the ancestors want me to start appreciating y'all more because y'all following me y'all listening to me y'all letting me guide you by them guiding me and teaching me i'm guiding y'all i once again i always say this because i'm the truth it's because a lot of my mentors are like baron mamon brigitte santa morte um papa elegba all them and they're very tough they loving but they're tough on me so therefore I can't not show any type of fear. Sometimes I do get fearful. I am human, but I remove that from me. You have to understand you are a warrior. You are a she mating. You can't be a punk in these spiritual streets. If you be a punk, just like people say dog can sense if you fear them, well, spirits can do that too. There's a lot of trickster spirits. That's why they call legions. Legions mean many. So you have to walk and speak with authority god gave you authority to thread over scorpions god gave you authority over these demons and demons god gave you authority over angels god gave you authority so you have to know who you are you are made in his image okay if you were saying that you are god or a goddess and you represent god then you shouldn't fear nothing okay he did not give you the spirit of fear fears are attachments when you was born, first thing you was taught how to eat at a certain time, when to go to bed, what books to read, how to sit, how to talk, how to eat, then, you know, how to dress yourself, how to tie your shoes, things like that. Then when you went to school, they taught you how to read, write, how to be business-like, how to do this, how to do this, to get accustomed to the world, okay? Then as you started dating, you was taught how to please people. You used to say, what do you want me to be for this relationship to work? You're forgetting to think for yourself. You're forgetting to see what you want. Can't no relationship make you happy. If you constantly trying to please somebody like, I need to be this way for Dexter to like me. I need to be this way for Sandrea to like me and love me. I need to be this way for them to like me at this job. That's why you have freedom. To be who you want. Be free to speak. Think. You have to learn to start thinking for yourself. If you have to be something to make someone stay and love you in a relationship, you're not being true to yourself. You're not telling him or her how you want to be loved, how you want to be appreciated. You're not telling him or her that you can think for yourself. All those things that you think that's making you happy is not. It's programmed. You like a computer and people are just putting information, 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 information. And as soon as you start thinking like, oh my God, I got to dress this certain way for people to notice me. No, it's not. People want you to be yourself. If people is trying to control you, then those people are not for you. You don't need nobody's validation, but God, yours, and your team. You need to learn to know what you want as an individual. Because if you get in any type of relationship, he or she is going to accept you for who you are. So if you get titties to hang down to your kneecaps, if that's what he wants because you're happy, then you need to be that. Learn to be what you want. Learn to help teach people how you feel. Learn to have that. Quit trying to jump every time somebody jumps. And to tell you because you're thinking that's going to make the person stay with you. That's going to make the person love you. And that is not true. Spirit wants you to learn what you want. He wants you to think. You get downloads. Because you came back to help 
bring the people back. This is what I'm trying to say. You have to learn that attachments is what's making you depressed. A attachments is what's making you not happy. Attachment is making you feel like you got to be woulda, shoulda, coulda. That is not true. That is what the society has put on you. That's why they got attachment. That's why it's so very important for you to do shadow work so you can confront the things that you don't like about yourself. Soon as you start changing, the inside is going to start showing on the outside. Then he or she and your tribe and other people that's free, just like you, you they will smell you and you will start meeting them. What message do you have for today? Also, I want to say thank you for commenting. For those who do comment because you make me feel like what I'm saying is resonating with you. I can't help you and guide you if you're not commenting or giving me a thumbs up. It's like you're wasting my time. Okay? I need to know. I can read minds, but it's better if you help me. So if my reading or what I have to say resonate with you, you at least, least can leave a comment, like, subscribe, and share. For those that are commenting and liking, I'm going to do a pick a card. For those that's participating and is working with me, I'm going to pick one, a free reading, pick a card. And if spirit is drawn to you, I'm going to put a thumbs up or check mark by your name and then I'm going to ask my ancestors help spit, uh, pick a reading and I'm going to pick a card and I'm going to say your name. I'm not going to say nothing. If it's something personal, I will put down there in the comments, com contact me and I will do it. Other than that, I will give you a free spirit led reading. It's going to be a pick a card every day. If you participate, I will participate. So if you're just listening, trying to see what I'm doing or try to see what I'm up to so you can use it, Spirit said you're not going to get far with that. Okay? Each one, teach one. Okay? If you communicate with me and help me and comment and say my readings and my teaching are resonating with you and if you want to be in a pick a card reading it's going to be a free spirit led reading and i will do it at the end of the video if you don't say nothing i'm not going to say nothing okay two people can play that games no two people if you're just sitting trying to see what i'm up to you're not going to get far you're not going to get far so for those that resonate with my readings, please comment. For those who like it, please comment, share. And if you want to be where you want a free pick a card reading at the end of my videos, comment. I will write your name down and then I will uh, pick the one. Well, spirits will pick the one and I will give you one. Let's go. I have already pre-shuffled your cards. What did I tell you about shadow work? That's the first thing that came out of shadow work. You have to remove the attachments that you think and mentally you're thinking that they're your happiness. You're staying with people because you think that's what he or she wants. It's time for you to show that individual what you want. Okay? So it's, you have to start doing shadow work and that's going to help you relieve a lot of stress, a lot of problems. It's going to help you release the things that does not resonate with your higher good. Once again, whatever you manifesting, if you manifesting someone to leave their wife or husband, spirit is saying no. I don't know why I'm getting a strong emphasis on that. That is wrong because if he or she decided to leave his or her wife and get with you, how do you know he's not going to do the same thing and leave you? You're going to reap what you sow. He's not yours. Go find someone that's single and have him be yours. Quit trying to take things that's not yours. That's the problem now. You, 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 you're selfish. You want stuff that everybody else got. Go find your own man. Go find your own woman and leave other people's husband or wife alone. If they divorce, let it be because both of them want to. Don't let it be because of you. Because you know what? God is going to make that come back on you. If he or she cheated to get you, then he or she is going to cheat on you to get somebody else. Go find your own. Damn, it's not that hard. If he's ugly, he's yours. If he's fine, it's yours. Find your own. Heartbreak. Heal what hurt you and move on. Forgive them and yourself. These are attachments. These is what's holding you hostage. 
This is what's preventing you from moving on higher to what God wants you to be is heartbreak. You have to release those things. That's why it's called attachments. You need to learn to be celebrate freedom. Free yourself from these things. Free your mind to think how you want to think and speak and love. Remove those attachments. If he or she accepts you for how you truly are, then that person is meant for you. If they say, I like you better this way and that better, then that person is not for you. He or she cannot control you. So you need to release those attachments. Someone is having uh, confrontations because the person you with, you knew this, you knew this, and it's like you wanted to, you wanted this man so bad. So you said, I would do anything for you. So he asked you to do a threesome. You was like, okay, I really want this man. This goes with the attachments. You know, deep down inside, you don't want to do this. This is not you. But you thinking, because this will make him love you more. This will make him stay. You agreed to this threesome. Find out. He, you did this threesome and it's 111. You did this threesome. Okay, y'all together. You just don't know he's sneaking with that individual having sex behind your back. Because you were so in a hurry, now your butt hurt. You can't blame nobody but yourself because, like I said, you let him think for you. You need to learn to think and speak for yourself. If he or she can't agree with your terms, then he or she is not for you. He or she is not for you. Let's get into this card, Spirit. First card. Can I get two more to start with this reading? Some of y'all life can be so much better if you learn to think and speak for yourself. Some of y'all saying, I just want to be loved. I just want to be done this certain way. I want to do this. But you're not giving it to you. You're not giving it to you. So if you're not giving it to you, then how the fuck do you know you want that? Because you're not giving it to you. That's where y'all fucking up. Y'all think y'all want this person. Y'all think y'all want this job. Y'all think y'all want this and this and this. Because you think it's going to make your life better. You think it's going to make you do this. Find out it's not what you want. This comes with manifestation. Be careful what you're asking God for. Because you just might not get it. And God will let you get it. To see where you fucked up. So you can go back and tell him. Say God I'm sorry I should have listened. Then he going to say a hard head make a soft behind. A lot of times your ancestors and God. Let you hit that wall. Because you fucking stubborn. You think you know everything and you don't even know who you are because you you people pleasers. You think that's what you like and deep, deep down inside, that's not what you like. That's like you having anal sex and you hate anal sex, but to keep your husband, you continue to have anal sex and it's tearing your butthole up. Are you happy? No. Is he cheating on you? Yes. Is he doing other things? Yes. And there you are, you got a fucked up, stretched out butthole. Because you thought that's what's going to make you happy when you found out that it didn't. You're the one suffering. Yes, I had to use it that way. You need to learn to think for yourself. You need to learn to love how you want to be loved. If it's meant to be, it will come back. If it's not, move the fuck on. Someone else is waiting on you. You have the first card, 22, intuition. This is the Merkaba, what I was talking about, the Merkaba. That's the Merkaba symbol. Some of y'all need to go and try to activate it. Some of y'all, y'all Merkaba is activating. Spirit is saying y'all need to use y'all intuition more. This goes with loving you. Stop fearing stuff. Trust in divine. Stop being a punk. But then you want to act like you this and this and this. You want to tell people how powerful you are and you a badass this and this and this. And then soon spirits are listening. Soon as they said, all right, especially Baron. Y'all listening, you like Baron, like, ah, oh, you want to be OG in the spiritual world? All right, I'm going to send you yada, 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 Ray, Ray, Ray. Soon as you do, you're like, what the fuck is happening? Why is this doing this and this? I'm sorry, Marley. He's like, chill. Why is this happening to me? Why are these people doing this and doing this? You forgot you asked for something. You forgot that you asked to be an OG in these spiritual streets. So they're going to see if you're going to back your ass up. Don't expect them to protect you if you starting shit. 
Or are you procrastinating doing shit? Or are you telling people you this, you do this, and you do this, and you just sitting on your lazy ass not doing nothing? And then when spirits like, all right, all right, as soon as Baron or Papa Legba or Kali Ma or Kashmi Ganesha, all them Lilith, yes, Lilith, will send you shit, you be like, oh my God, I don't know what to do. Why, why is this person doing this? Why is this and doing this? Hello? Uh, what did you just write on your money? What did you just thought in meditation? I want to be a powerful voodoo priestess. I want to be a powerful high priestess. I want to be a powerful brujo, bruja. I want to be a warlock. I want to be this. I want to be that. Talk is cheap. They want to see action. Stop being a punk. Stop saying you a badass. And then every time something comes, you a punk. Like I said, if you can't fight it, you have them that will fight it for you. They waiting on you. They waiting on you. Every fight is not your fight. You have spiritual partnership. Once you start knowing what you want, once you start loosening up these attachments and you finally free to be you, you're going to get your spiritual partnership because he or she is going to accept you for your flaws, your good and your bad. He or she is going to be your demigod and demigoddess. They're going to be iron shopping iron. Y'all going to be spiritually yoked. And then some of y'all are getting financial discipline. Because once you start using your intuition, then you get this spiritual partnership. Your financial discipline is going to go up. Because he is going to help you or she is going to help you. And y'all going to be one. This is a relationship that you've been praying for and asking for. And you're about to get it. Let's get into the tarot. What messages do you have for them? Can I get three cards? Three cards, exactly. I shall. At the bottom of the deck, you have the seven of pinnacles. Seven of pinnacles. Under the seven of pinnacles, you have the six of swords. Y'all have planted a lot of seeds. Y'all have done good to everybody. Because y'all don't want no trouble. Y'all don't want no smoke. So y'all trying to keep peace. Okay? Spirit is saying your good karma outweighs your bad karma. But because of the law of the land, because of the yin and yang, you have to get the bad karma and the good karma. But a lot of y'all have planted so much good things. Y'all about to taste y'all fruit. Y'all sitting there waiting patiently like I did this, I did that. I'm going to let XYZ have her shit. I'm going to have ABC want his shit. But spirit, don't you think it's my time? And God saying, slow down, grasshopper. You know, can I get a hello? Can, can you tell me you love me? Can you say I give thanks to all the good things? Thank you, God, Heavenly Father, for waking me up this morning. I'm not on the streets. And those on the streets, trust me, they say thank you to God because they are alive. You have to be grateful for the small things. By being grateful for the small things, that's how you water your garden. And that's how you produce those big old juicy fruits that you're asking for. He wants you to be thankful for the small things in your life and appreciate that. That's how you know you're happy. That's how you know you're grateful when you are happy for a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And you so used to having that steak, but you're like, you know what? I'm going to imagine this peanut butter and jelly sandwich tasting like a steak. Soon as you start showing that you're happy and you're grateful, next thing you know it, bam, money came into your bank account. Your PPP loan just came through. Or you got an unexpected check. These back, back child supports went up. Or a job that you used to have didn't give you a check and they was finding you so you got lost money you find out that someone that you didn't know left you some money it don't always have to be family because you're showing gratitude when you envious and you always greedy saying why i'm not doing this and why i'm not this and god is saying you can't even tell me good morning or grand rising whatever the fuck you say and another reason why you should never say good morning my brown black color people yellow whatever you want to call yourself it's because back in the day when your ancestors was getting their ass beat, the slave master would say good morning because they slaughtered your ancestors. So it was a good morning. That's why they said that it was a good death. 
That's why you say grand rising because the sun is rising upon you and God uh, blew breath in you for see another day. Y'all need to learn to say give thanks to the small things. Even if you got three peas and three carrots, you want to say gracias a my father. Because you know what? Yesterday I didn't have this. That's how you water your garden. That's how he blesses you with bigger things. A lot of y'all are moving out of one situation to another situation. And I'm speaking to someone right now. Y'all asking for God to relieve you from domestic violence because you stayed with them because you thought that was your happiness. To find out he's controlling you. He's beating you. He's raping you. Yes, you can be married and your husband is raping you. No means no. And remember that no came up. So you asking them to help you get out of this situation. My brother, my sister, you know what I'm saying? Because men go through domestic violence because they feel like they're not going to hit a woman. So they go through this woman shit. So I feel for you too. So I'm talking to he and she. God is going to send someone that's going to help you get out of this situation. He's going to help you move out of, move out of this situation. He's going to help you move in silence. And you're going to be free, you and your children. You have to learn to remove things that you think mentally is your attachment because it's getting you fucked up. A lot of y'all going to start traveling. A lot of y'all going to move from this house out of your parents' home, out of that basement. Because everybody's saying, you 35 years old. It doesn't matter if you 55. They don't know your situation. That's their fucking opinion. Don't let their opinion be an attachment to keep you there. When God is ready for you to move, you will be able to move. Fuck them. They're not living like a Bel Air. So fuck them. Those people's opinions are attachments. And you have to learn to say, okay, what the fuck does that got to do with me? Okay, maybe I'm not there yet, but it's coming. All right? Y'all have the three of wands. This is your ships are coming in. Like I said, your blessings are coming in because you start to get thanks for the small things and your garden's getting watered. So you're going to start receiving the bigger things. Sometimes they're going to say, how did you get this? Because my God takes care of his people. Okay? A lot of y'all ships are selling in. A lot of y'all going to be collaborating with someone. And that's how you're going to meet him or her. It's going to be through a third-party relationship, which means business, not like he's already in one. A lot of people are going through a divor divorce right now because during COVID. COVID's going to help a lot of y'all find y'all he or she because they with someone that they thought that was their happiness. And they finding out I can't be who I truly be want to be because this person is controlling me. So that's about to end and y'all about to meet the person that y'all want to be. But you have to fix on yourself first. If you got one breast is like that, he's going to love you like that. If you have none, he's going to love you like that because you are accepting who you are, who you love. You have the six of pentacles, someone from your past. Y'all have a past life connection. Also, this is new in this lifetime because, you know, the statement in another lifetime, in another lifetime, y'all work together as lover, lover, husband, a wife, 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 husband, husband. I don't give a fuck, but that's what y'all were. Now it's going to meet again and y'all going to know it. When your poom poom is vibrating, that's how you know. When y'all little thing and thing and thing and is going woo, 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 that's how you know. That's how you know. So recognize so. If it ain't vibrating and go ding a ling a ling and he's fine or she's fine as fuck, move on. It's not for you. You can't fuck everything. That's how also you get attachments that's fucking up your life. But someone from your past is coming in. Start using your intuition. You have the sun. Everything I told you it's going to be a great grand rising. Your blessings. Your son is helping you grow. The son is healing you. God is saying, yes, my child. Well done, my child. You can have it. Because you're releasing the things that does not resonate with your higher good. It's not resonating with your higher good. Nah. They said do an inspiration. So I'm going to do an inspiration. Once again, if this message from spirit resonated with you leave a comment and said this resonated with me and you would like to be put in the pick a card spirit led message thumbs up share whatever you want to do and i will 
write down your name and I will meditate and then I will call you out. If it's too personal, I would say, I need, to con need you to contact me and I will do this. I will not put your information out there. But if you pick it and it comes up, I'm going to say, Spirit says this is a message from Spirit. You might be blessed from someone that's your ancestor because I am a psychic medium. So I talk to the dead. I talk to, I am a gatekeeper. I talk to all of them. So if you want to get blessed with a spirit-led reading, I need y'all to participate. Like, comment, say this resonated. Also say you want to participate in a spirit-led uh, pick-a-card reading. Haters are going to hate. Haters are going to hate. So you need to release these attachments because haters are going to hate. First of all, because you're being you. You verbalizing yourself. You like, fuck you. That's your opinion. What the fuck do that got to do with me? When they start in the morning, you're like, damn, can I get a grand rising? Can I say, how was your day? What the fuck? Can, you, can I get a kiss my ass, motherfucker? Whatever you want to say. Not bada, 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 boom, boom, boom. Okay? You got to tell these people, hey, back the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Haters going to hate. That's how you know you're on the right track. That's how you know you're on the right path. If they're not hating on you, then you're not doing something right. And this too shall pass. Y'all be blessed. Peace. Namaste. I see you.